This video describes the robotically aligned scanner we developed to automatically acquire optical coherence tomography images of stationary and moving eyes. The system uses two depth cameras for initial gross alignment and then two pupil cameras for subsequent fine alignment. Here we demonstrate the system in operation by showing the inline pupil camera and external views as well as the OCT ONFOS maximum intensity projection as it is acquired. We start by showing alignment with stationary targets. Using the eye and pupil tracking cameras, the robot obtains a high quality OCT volume of the eye within a matter of seconds. The scanner continues tracking the eye even if it moves. When the eye is withdrawn such that tracking fails, the robot returns the scanner to its start position. From the start position, both eye tracking cameras have an unobstructed view of the full tracking workspace. This allows the scanner to safely recover even if it loses tracking of the face. Next we show pursuit of eyes moving on a linear stage. Even when the eye is moving at 10 centimeters per second, no motion artifacts are visible in the OCT ONFOS projection. The scanner compensates for the offset pupil in the inline pupil camera view by aiming the galvanometer scan waveform such that the OCT scan remains centered. Scans of this quality of moving targets are largely impossible for human operators to acquire. At 30 centimeters per second, the brief disruptions to the OCT scan at the start and end of motion are quickly corrected. Finally, we show alignment with eyes undergoing physiologic motion. Despite tremor and small-scale drift, the scanner is able to obtain largely stabilized OCT volumes of the eye. Here is a closer look at the handheld OCT data we present in Figure 11 of our paper. From left to right, the columns show data obtained with eye tracking only, pupil tracking only, and then pupil tracking with galvanometer aiming. The top row shows OCT on FOS projections, whereas the bottom row shows the B scan that is actively being acquired. Figure 11 shows the OCT volume from this series that exhibits the least motion artifact. Galvanometer aiming is key for obtaining a motion stabilized volume. Thank you for watching.